Welcome again friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the salting out process or it's also known as the ammonium sulfate cut process. So whatever you say, this is another technique related to protein molecular biology. Now in protein molecular biology, what we need, uh, we have mass of proteins, uh, different types of proteins. So we separate those proteins, right? We separate proteins based on their charge, based on their size and shape, based on their molecular weight in different uh, using different techniques. Now salting out is one of the processes where we again separate specific proteins from a mixture of other population of proteins. Okay, so let's say again uh, in, in the very basic level we can see, we can say that we have again mixture of proteins in a, in a tube or test tube let's say we have a mixture of proteins say this one, uh, this red one as well as let's say the blue one, two different types of proteins we have. Now in this case uh, of salting out, charge of proteins plays a little bit important role because size and shape uh, doesn't matter uh, very much, but matter uh, slightly the molecular weight, but mainly the, the segregation of proteins and separation of protein from rest of the population uh, is slightly based on their charge and uh, based on the interaction of that protein uh, with salts as well as uh, the major thing that separates protein from each other using salting out is the solubility of that protein in the salty condition or in the halophilic water okay or halophilic solvent for example so you see here what we do in this case we have we know that in a particular salt concentration the solubility of protein increases or decreases okay so presence of salt in the solution where the protein is present influence the solubility of that protein right usually there is a limit uh, to a particular salt concentration that can be tolerable as a solution mode for a protein so that is a border so if we increase the concentration of salt above that particular value in that case protein will be precipitated protein will be uh, precipitated down okay or settle down to the bottom of that chamber now if we decrease the salt concentration below that particular value in that case that protein will be soluble so it means a protein is soluble in a particular solution now we keep on adding salt in it we are increasing the salt concentration in that solution up to that point where the protein could no longer be soluble in that salt concentration so that protein will be segregated and precipitated down, settled down in the bottom of that tube. That's the process of salting out. So see, most of the proteins are less soluble at high salt concentration and we simply use this. So see at the very beginning, once we start in, uh, the salt concentration is very minute and the proteins are soluble, right? Proteins are soluble uh, in that particular uh, sol salt concentration. Now as we increase the salt concentration, see in the x-axis, as we increase the salt concentration, we see that solubility of the protein, this is the solubility. First, first for, for, for a few seconds, the solubility is increased because the water shell, let's see, hydrate shell that is produced, I mean, the water is filling uh, throughout the uh, proteins, that region getting less and uh, some positive salts also help the protein to get some structural rigidity. So, in the very first stages, solubility slightly increased uh, from the beginning, but this is a point which is uh, the peak point for the maximum solubility for a protein in a salt concentration. After that, if we increase the salt concentration even a little fraction, we will see that the solubility of the protein will dramatically decrease and this decrease is huge decrease as you see. Slight increase even after that point will, will separate that protein directly from the mixture of other proteins. So we know that now these are the proteins and fully covered with salt particles. So no water shell formed there fully particles, I mean salt particles are covered, covering the proteins completely and it will be uh, precipitated down to the bottom. So these are uh, the necessary stages, I mean this is the process actually the principle for salting out. We also call it ammonium cut because we use ammonium sulphate, ammonium sulphate is used as a salt majorly in uh, precipitation of uh, proteins there. Now up, after this precipitation, let's say, so let's say we add the salt, add salt is in uh, green color here and let's say the salt will bring this red protein to the bottom so it will be filled with I mean uh, it will be coated with all the salt particles throughout the surrounding right salt particles are covering there so now 
after this precipitation what is our idea because we are separating this protein because we want to work with this protein compared with the rest of the population so once we separate that protein we take that protein out now we know that that protein is coated with salt so what we need to do we need to exclude excess salt out from the protein so that we only get protein in our hand so we only get pure form of the protein by taking all the salts out by taking the salts out we need to use another technique that is called dialysis dialysis or dialysis whatever uh, dialysis is a technique of uh, getting pure protein right after the salting out process we need to do uh, we need to do dialysis uh, because of uh, get rid of those uh, particles those salt particles see here this is let's say a negatively uh, charged protein and the positively charged salts salts are here in blue color it will surround itself uh, completely now what we add here a salt that we that can have both positive as well as negative charge we know that so now if it's a negatively charged protein the salt positively charged salt particles will cover it if it's a positively charged protein negatively charged salt particles will cover it but ultimately actually they will be precipitated uh, to the bottom once it's done properly to the bottom in that case uh, see and that process slowly I mean when we slowly increase the salt concentration we see the visible precipitation after that we slightly increase more to get a complete precipitation of proteins now as we increase the salt concentration more and more proteins will be precipitated because some proteins you know I've told you this this graph that this is a point which is a maximum salt tolerance point soluble uh, maximum solubilization point in presence of salt now this point is different for different types of proteins right it based on the pH of the protein charge of that protein so for different proteins this point varies uh, in some proteins this point may lie somewhere close in some cases this point lie maybe some someplace uh, distantly so if it is present someplace distantly in that case we need to keep on increasing the salt concentration to take that protein out uh, from the mixture and those proteins which are having this peak very very less uh, solubility there uh, in presence of salt they can be salted out pretty easily very very fast okay so this is a salting out process but we need to have dialysis uh, at the end of salting out and dialysis is nothing but we have that protein covered with uh, the salt particles there see and we place those protein components in a pouch in a dialysis bag this is a dialysis bag uh, this is made with uh, some Trans I, mean, I mean some permeable semi permeable kind of molecules uh, through which uh, again it's a it's a kind of polymer mesh again it's look you see it look, looks like plastic but it's not exactly plastic it's an organic uh, thing and through which uh, the protein molecules can easily diffuse and come out because here you see in this in this other buffer solution because we use buffer solution and we drop that uh, bag containing our salted proteins inside and what it does actually in this inside the bag the the concentration of the protein is high concentration of salt is high outside the bag the buffer is everything low so uh, the bag is permeable so easily uh, this particle salt particles can diffuse through uh, this bag uh, through this bag to this buffer right and as it is migrating to the buffer the concentration becomes kind of becoming equ equivalent and equal and until and unless they will reach an equilibrium we'll see the concentration of salt will be the same uh, as uh, the salt inside and outside so that means most of the salts that are present in the in this coating in the protein will be will be coming out and the proteins will only remain inside it's not like that that only proteins very few salts will still available inside the bag and we do this dialysis uh, more and more I mean one time dialysis after first dialysis will get most of the salts out but still some salts will be inside the bag so we'll take that bag again put it in another fresh buffer for some times more so as we do this dialysis more and more times more stages of dialysis will get more pure version of proteins because as we do more dialysis more salt particles will come out to the buffer and as the salt particles are coming to the buffer we also use a magnetic stirrer to stir this mixture there so that uh, it follows equal distribution right so this is how it, it's actually working see the protein and salt uh, concentrations are uh, pleasant present here one uh, alongside but salts can only move proteins will stay because they are larger protein cannot migrate through this parchment there so only salts will come out outside the bag so this is the technique of preparation I mean I mean after the salting out process dialysis is required for uh, the purification of the protein so that's it guys i hope this help helpful if it's helpful please like my video uh, subscribe to my channel to get thousands and thousands of videos like this 
and I'm sure it's literally thousand videos out there. Two thousand, more than two thousand videos. Uh, you can get it for free, free access. So that's it, and share this video with your friends in social networks. Thank you.